In this example, I need to solve the following equation over the interval 0 to 2 pi. The equation is the cosine of 2x minus 3 times the cosine of x plus 2 equals 0. Well, what type of equation do we have here? It's a trigonometric equation, and it only has one trig function in it, the cosine function. But unfortunately, the argument of the first cosine function is 2x, and the argument of the second one is x. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is use an identity to rewrite the cosine of 2x in terms of trig functions of just the argument x. So here is the identity for the cosine of 2a, and this is the one that has three totally equivalent forms. All three of these will work in this problem, but one will work a lot more efficiently than the other two. So what you have to do is look at the other trig functions that we have in this equation. This equation just contains cosine x apart from my cosine of 2x. So we need to pick the identity that just has the cosine function in. So I'm going to use this version of the identity because the first one has the sine function in it, as does the third version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the cosine of 2x with this expression. So I'm going to have 2 cosine squared x minus 1. That is just what the cosine of 2x is. And then we just write the rest of the equation, which is minus 3 cosine x plus 2 equals 0. Well, what type of equation is this? It is a quadratic equation, degree 2, and the only trig function present is the cosine of plain old x. So the first thing I need to do is write it in descending order. So I have 2 cosine squared x minus 3 cosine x. Then I have negative 1 plus 2 like terms. So negative 1 plus 2 adds to plus 1 equals 0. So now I have my quadratic equation in descending order. I can then factor it. And some students are a bit nervous about factoring with a trig function in there. So this one I'm going to factor by doing a very quick substitution. I'm going to let u equal the cosine of x. And so my equation becomes instead of cosine squared x, I'm going to have 2 times u squared minus 3 times cosine x is just u, plus 1 equals 0. This is a very simple one to factor. The numbers are very easy to do, so I'm just going to use trial and error. Multiply to 2u squared, I need a 2u and a u. Multiply to a positive means the signs are the same. Add to a negative, they're both negative. There's only one choice multiplying to 1, 1, and 1. Now let's check our factoring using FOIL. First gives me 2u squared. Outer negative 2u. Inner negative u. Those add up to negative 3u. Last gives me positive 1. So we've factored it correctly. So we have two factors multiplied together equals 0. Set each of them equal to 0. So I have 2u minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides, 2u equals 1. Divide both sides by 2. I have u equals 1 half. Now the second factor, u minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides, I get u equals positive 1. Now we know that u equals cosine x, so I know the cosine of x equals positive one half, or the cosine of x 
equals positive 1. One thing to note is I solved this equation using a u substitution. But if you feel comfortable factoring a quadratic equation containing a trig function, you do not need to do the u substitution. But either method, you will land up with the cosine of x equals a half or the cosine of x equals 1. So now we need to get a unit circle. So here is my unit circle. And on the unit circle for each ordered pair, the x-coordinate is the cosine of my angle and the y-coordinate is the sine of my angle. So I'm looking for x-coordinates that equal positive a half. So that means I have to be in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. Here my x-coordinate is positive a half at pi over 3. And it's also equal to positive a half at 5 pi over 3. So sorry, I'm running out of room here. So the solutions from when cosine x is a half are when x equals pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. And now when the cosine of x equals positive 1, that only occurs in one place on the unit circle right here. And that is when x equals 0. So the three solutions to this equation are when x is 0, pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3.